I like fussing around here. Um, where's her card? Let me show you. Let me get this out here. So Miss Nancy Gulick, who is one of our Inkspired Stampers, is kind of coming apart because I wanted to show you how it goes together. Um, but she brought this card to our Inkspired Stampers meeting that was last week, right? So this is fun though, it is, and it's a fun fold too. So this opens up like this, right? And I, <laughs> it was kind of coming apart and I thought I was gonna put it back together and then I wanted to show you guys how you actually make this card. So it's kind of good that it's coming apart. So you start with, this is a piece of cardstock that is um, a quarter of a sheet. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? And then you have a piece of, this is your designer series paper. Um, I think I have notes about what these sizes all are too. Yeah, the DSP is three inches wide and it's actually six inches long, but you score it at five and a half inches. Can you see? So then you tuck it back underneath there, right? If you guys can kind of see that. So you're gonna tuck it underneath. In this case, so now I am gonna try to get it stuck on there a little bit better because I do, I probably should use my Seal Plus on this one. So that goes right inside there. And we're gonna demonstrate this again too, but I wanted to show you guys. So then the green piece layers over that flap that I just put inside there. The white piece layers over the green piece. And then this is your flap of DSP. You do want to, maybe I put that down a little bit too far. You need to give a little bit of room right in there just so when you fold, it'll close. And then Nancy had a great idea to make this a little bit more substantial. So she put a piece of Whisper White cardstock behind her DSP. Because otherwise, you guys know like the DSP is a little bit wimpier almost. Um, so yeah, it's a cool fold. You're right, Philomena. Um, so yeah, let me show you. So this, like I said, and Nancy, she used maybe the tulips stamp set. I'm trying to remember because we, she was so cute because she demonstrated this card for us at our meeting. Um, we have it on Facebook Live too. And then she made packets for everybody. She loves to do that so that we could all make our own. Um, but then she, she um, had decorated the outside and she just said, you know, do whatever you want on the outside. So I used this one, again, that let, let faith be bigger than your fear. And then some of, this is more of the twill ribbon. This one in, um, that's just jade, right? So, okay, so I'm gonna show you uh, very similar, but it uses more of the, Artistry Blooms Designer Series Paper. So really just about the same idea, right? This one right here is the one we're actually gonna make. Um, yeah, and it's so simple too, um, the layout, Susan, so I think you'll appreciate that also. And you've got the, you got this, love that, right? Okay, so let me show you, but again, thank you, Miss Nancy, for sharing this um, fun fold card idea with us at our meeting. Okay, let me grab what we need here. Oh, this is another totally off topic, but I had to show you because it also features um, the ridiculously awesome stamp set. This was a card that I received. It was a swap. Did I not bring that over? Oh, shoot, I didn't. Hmm, okay. Well, it's a swap, and I, I pulled it out of um, the sleeve. So Kara Pazant, maybe is her name. I'm trying to remember who, who I got the swap card from, but I don't have it here. So I apologize. This is not a card that I created, um, but I loved it so much. We actually made it at card class a couple weeks ago. Um, but again, it's with this sentiment, you are my sunshine, that is part of the ridiculously awesome stamp set. Um, I will tell you, and if I have club members listening, you might want to plug your ears, but I used this basic layout on a club member treat that I made also, and I will be sharing that um, on my blog very soon, and I'll show you guys those too. So, but I just, I loved this whole layout. I love the wood grain, like you're saying too. Susan, I love that wood grain um, kind of as a background on there also. So super cute, just lots of fun stuff you can do with that ridiculously awesome stamp set, right? Okay, so... Let me see, I think we are okay here. Doo -doo -doo. So I'm gonna get some ink out, our stamps, the punch. Okay, so let me tell you about sizes. Yeah, it's definitely, I kept thinking I was gonna run across that sleeve that has her business card in it, but I don't think I'm gonna, darn it. Okay, so we start with, this is Melon, Melon Mambo, yep. So this is kind of our card base, four and a quarter by five and a half, that's what's, this piece right there, just layers right behind there, okay? Then we have our Mango Melody piece that measures three and a half by five and a half. And then over top of that, 
we have actually, and it's two pieces of Whisper White. Um, one goes on the inside and then one goes behind the designer series paper. But this measures three inches by five and a half inches, okay? And then we have our designer series paper. So like I said, I um, cut this to three inches by six inches and then I made a score mark at five and a half inches because that's how we're gonna put that fold in there and then the flap will work for you, okay? And then I just have um, a scrap piece of Whisper White to do our stamping on and then this piece of Mango Melody that measures one inches, one inch by three inches, okay? All right, so let's do our, actually there's no die cutting on this one either. All right, so we don't have to do our stamping first. So let's put things together so you kind of can see how this works. Where did I put my, looking for my stamp and seal. Okay, so step number one, and I want this baby right here too. Okay, we are going to, let me think about this. So this is going to lay right inside there like that, okay? So we wanna just put a, um, a good amount of adhesive because that's gonna fit right down on there, okay? So I like to use my um, silicone mat here so that I don't get adhesive where I don't want it, right? Like on my work paper, okay? So we're gonna kind of, oh, Nancy had a trick too. Now I'm trying to remember what her trick was. I'm like futzing around here. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Because it's sticking to my fingers too, okay. So here, we're gonna try, what if I go like this? Because I'm trying to get a, the same approximately. Um, and then it sticks, right? Oh, Nancy, I wish I could remember what your trick was, because I feel like there was a trick. But <laughs> in the meantime, you just futz with it until you think you got it about right. And even if you don't, it'll be all right. It'll be good enough. There's probably a Oh, oh, thank you, Nikki, you're saying yes, Kara, Kara. Oh yeah, because I did post it on our Facebook group, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, I'm like so out of it. Um, I have not, I've, I haven't gotten as much sleep as I normally do, so my brain, you know, normally I'm a little ditzy, now I feel like I'm even ditzier. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh well, hopefully it provides some entertainment for people, if nothing else. Like, yeah, she's a little loopy these days. Okay, so we're gonna press super hard on that and hope <laughs> hope and pray that I put it where I was supposed to. And then this one is gonna layer right over that. Okay, so we're gonna use our little work surface again. We are gonna add a bunch of adhesive. Oops, oh, and then I went off the edge. I'm still working on this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a little bit, oops. Okay, so this is where you see how I did that and there's nothing happening. I'm gonna go over to where my adhesive was and it's like it draws it up so that you can run it again. Love that trick. That's like probably the most fabulous thing I've learned lately. Okay, so now we are gonna put this piece maybe right about there. Okay, and I'll show you. Then on the inside, right, we're gonna use one of our white pieces. Look, we might as well do our stamping now since I wanna stamp on my inside white piece. Let's get that going here. So we've got our Mango Melody ink. <laughs> yeah, not ditzy, just fun. Well, thank you, Philomena. <laughs> I appreciate that. I feel ditzy, but that's, I'm, I appreciate you saying not so. <laughs> okay, there we go. So our hearts go there. And then let's see, we will do our sentiment. Let's just stamp that baby right here. So we've got the, you got this. So what I think I'm gonna do though, to make sure I have enough room, I am gonna just stamp the, you got this, and then we will add our heart after I punch. Because sometimes it's hard for me to estimate um, how much room, and I wanna be able to see my heart. So let's do that. We're gonna, we stamped the You Got That, this. That was in Melon Mambo. Okay, yeah, so now I'm trying to make sure I have enough room over here for my heart, okay? I think that'll be good. Plenty of room, okay? I'm getting ink all over everything. There's our heart, okay. Perfect, I love that heart too. So cute, so, so cute. All right, so we got that, we got that. So now we can put some adhesive on the back of our white piece. Actually, both of our white pieces we can do, okay? So you can see I'm kind of flick, flicking, I guess, a little bit. It's like that turn 
that you used to have to do. I'm finding, because I wasn't doing it, I wasn't working so quickly when I was first starting with this, um, and I feel like it's helping me now. Okay, so we're gonna put this one right inside here. Again, just to make it um, feel a little bit more substantial. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. Yeah, but see, oh, all right, hold on. Um, because you want to give a little bit of room in there to fold it down too. So let's try that. I'm glad that didn't stick. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Uh, let's see, can we get it off? It's almost like I needed to trim it a teeny weeny bit. Well, I might have to do that later off camera if it doesn't. So that's one thing to note is maybe do a double check. Yeah, I'll probably trim that maybe along the bottom there, right? Okay, so then this one, this was definitely the trick, was to lay this down on here and then um, help yourself kind of adhere it down on there, okay? So that when you're doing this, you don't see any white on either side, right? And if any of this, like if this is a little bit choppy along here, I would take that in um, in my craft room and use my paper cutter and just kind of trim that off to make it look super flush, which I will tell you my secret because I definitely did that there, but you see how beautiful it looks. This one's a little wonky, but we'll get it to work, right? Okay, so there's that. And then this one too. I probably would go in and just cut that whole thing off and then it'll be perfect which I am a little anal, so I have a Carl cutter now, ladies. That's like the super duper heavy duty cutter. So you can cut like all of those pieces just all at once. It's really lovely, really, really lovely. Okay, so now we're gonna put some dimensionals behind our little label sentiment. I can't remember, it's one of these label dies, I don't know. I'll, I will, oh, I'm glad I'm saying that though. I will give you the item codes, um, the names, everything you need to know, the paper, the dimensions, colors, all of that will uh, be on my blog this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. So if you missed any of these details, if I misspoke, I promise it's all <laughs> true and accurate on my blog. Um, so check that out if you want to make any of these cards. If you want to order anything, all of those item codes will be right there too so that you can make these projects yourself. You can have lots of fun. This paper really lends itself. I think it coordinates really well with this stamp set too. Um, just the fun, bold sentiments in the stamp set and then the imagery on the paper, right? Okay, so we're going to add a glue dot right behind there. We've got our, you got this. And then one last, I was like, okay, it was missing a little something and I had to, had to add. So I have a few, look at how many, we've used a bunch of these in class, but we're gonna use, and these aren't even quite, I'm trying to remember if, um, what is this bumblebee, if that's a color in, it works though, right? Even if it's not a color in here, I think it completely works. Um, one of the little, what are these called? The Playing With Patterns Resin Dots that come in Coastal Cabana, Purple Posy, and then this one is Bumblebee. So there we go, ladies, card number two. This one's a little bit better than this one is, so we'll put this one right over here. I'll go lap off the bottom of that other one and it'll be good then too, right? Okay, and then here's our other one. So, okay, quick reminder. You guys can get these cards too. Label me lovely. Yes, I think you're right, Miss uh, Sharon. I believe that is exactly it. Okay, so yes, you can get both of these cards from me as a thank you when you put in your online order of at least $30. You get the make and takes right here. Your name is also entered into the drawing to win the Playing With Patterns Designer Series paper with your $30, just a minimum $30 order. Er, there we go, now you guys can see it, right? This is our host card code, the R4P4KGGM. And then as always, bump your order up to $50, do it before August 3rd and you get your bonus day coupon. And then you can also pick from the PDF tutorial. We'll have a new one for August very soon. This is July right here. Or the butterfly gems um, if you do it today. Or the in color enamel dots if you do it in August. So, all right, thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions at all. 
I'd be happy to answer any questions. So thank you guys and Philomena, you're always so sweet. Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed these cards. I missed you guys last week. Let me tell you, I would have much rather, um, it, it's a lot more fun to be here on Facebook Live than it is in an office working, isn't it? So <laughs> I missed you guys. So, but thank you for, um, like I said, giving me that grace um, to be able to go in and do that. I felt good to help them out though too, because I know Lisa, who I was kind of uh, covering for, she was really happy to not come back to like a ridiculously messy desk with lots of stuff to do. So anyway, all right, you guys have a great weekend and we will see you back here next Friday. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye everybody.